the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are holy, righteous and worthy. Oh Lord, be lifted high. First Kings chapter 18, very quickly let's look at verse 29. From verse 29 I'm reading. This is the contest between Elijah and the prophets of Baal. That who would be able to command fire from heaven to come and destroy or consume the sacrifice as proof of which God is deserving of our worship. Follow carefully and let's learn a lesson and then we begin to pray. And it came to pass, the Bible says, when midday was past, they prophesied, the prophets of Baal now, until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice or any answer or any that regarded uh-huh next verse elijah said unto the people come near unto me and all the people came near unto him and he repaired the altar look at the various things he did i wish there's time i can teach all day on this all the things that elijah did for the fire to come number one he repaired the altar of the lord that was broken down an altar is what empowers covenant there's nothing demonic about the word altar an altar is a system of authorization no covenant works until an altar empowers it it is the battery that empowers covenants the very throne that God is sitting on is an altar that is the throne that empowers the covenant that he has with the saints It is called the throne of grace. Not just the place of grace. That throne that he sits on is the altar that empowers the covenant that he has with the believer. Elijah said unto the people, we're back to our scripture. He took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob unto whom the word of the Lord came saying, Israel shall be thy name. 33 with the stones he built an altar okay now he put wood in order he cut the bullocks and all of that let's go to 34 for sake of time he said do it the second time pouring water now on it and then they did it the third time 35 and the water ran about the altar and he filled the trench also with water 36 and it came to pass that at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and of Israel, let it be known this day. Look at the motivation behind that miracle. I desire fire. The prophets of Baal said, oh Baal, hear us. Our ego is on the line. And yet Elijah said, this is not about my ego. This is the reason why I desire this to be done. Let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am your servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. 37. This is the motivation for this reading. Hear me, O Lord. Hear me. Why? That these people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their hearts back again to him. 
Open up this contract unto me. Grant me access to this anointing. Give me this multiplied platform. Grant me access to the hearts of kings. Give me the keys of systems and structures. Every time you ask God for anything, he will ask you one question. Why? Lord, I desire increased membership in my church. It is within your power to give me. Why? Lord, I desire to be a multi-millionaire. It is within my power to make rich. But why? Lord, I want that power because all of the people from where I come from have looked down on me and I need to prove a point. He says it's not enough reason to get that investment from me. Why? This is a question that everyone here must answer tonight. Why did you write what you He had no business with the glory of God being revealed. He was a thief. A thief is a self-centered person, not a person who steals it. A thief is one who his entire focus is on self-gratification. Let me tell you this. You've heard me say it many times. I don't know if I've said it on this platform, but I think so. Many years ago, when I was praying and asking the Lord to use me for his glory as far as he would want to use, the Lord told me something that has become a strong anchor in my life. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That is a condition if you will let men if you are secured enough to get out of the way and let jesus be seen through the wonder working things that i do through your life you will think that is a very easy instruction until god blesses you if you are not blessed it's easy to lay down anything because there is not much there Whether God collects it or not, it will most likely fall. There's nothing there. So you, it's easy to lay down nothing. But when you have so much, go and read the story of the rich man and Jesus. Good master, what do I need to do to inherit eternal life? He said, go and do this and that. He said, I have kept this from my youth. And it was true. Jesus said, one more test. Go and sell. He didn't say give. Sell use your creativity sell and then give everything from your selling it's easy to give what you were given but it's difficult to get what came as a result of your transaction your value your effort your energy was part of that process he says give all to the poor then when you are done giving come and follow me and the man said why are you doing this to me listen to me man of god if the Lord should ask you to lock up your ministry now, do you love him enough to do it? Are you willing to stand the controversy of loving God? If God asks you to shut down your conference, your ministry, can you do that this night? Nigeria, Plateau State, if the Lord asks you to empty your account as you are looking at me now, Remember what is there. Not that you empty it for your children or for politics. Empty it as a proof that you love me. Do you love him enough to go that far? You know, we say all kinds of things in church. Lord, I love you. I will give everything. Be careful with that prayer. That is the kind of prayer God loves. When you say, I will give you everything, I assure you, he will test you on that prayer. If you ever pray that prayer, I have good news for you. He's coming. He will vet that prayer thoroughly. When he brings you to a point where you are left with nothing, you will know that when you have Jesus, you have everything. So whatever else is added, it does not become connected to you. You see, when you die, God does not just desire to take those things away from you. He desires to take you away from those things. So that the consciousness of those things, you do not build your relevance around those things. He becomes the epicenter of your life the drive of your destiny 
I stand before the God of heaven and I submit to you. Believe me when I tell you that I love Jesus Christ more than ministry. I would tear down ministry like a curtain in one minute if he calls for it. Remember my story of the dead body. When you stand before a dead body, tell the dead body, I'm going to withdraw money from your account. Will it answer? Tell the dead body, I do not acknowledge that you are great. Will it answer? Tell the bo dead body, you are so great. Wake up and receive a handshake. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I now live in the body that is the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Whatever will bring you glory through my life, I say, Amen. Let it be. Apostle Paul said, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Let me give you an advice. Don't covet people's testimonies until you are willing to go through the process that produced it. Don't just covet anointings. I'm, I'm, there's, there's nothing wrong in desiring some of those things. But many times, respectfully speaking, when people see me, the first thing they want is impartation. And there's nothing wrong. Sometimes they kneel down and say, Apostle, Elijah asked for two. I'm asking for four. And I'm looking at them with deep compassion. Do you know the kind of death that brings you certain levels of glory. You want to tell the sick be healed and he's healed? It takes more than cramming scripture, my dear people. You want to speak over destinies and the tulip gates of their lives open? It takes more than oratory and utterance. Blood must be dripping on your altar as a sign that you really died. It is from that that power flows. Genuine spiritual power that produces wonder working results unfortunately and respectfully so we don't teach this again in church that's why people jump around just coveting things and never see anything happen to them i tell you the price for genuine power and to be a vessel that reveals the glory of god is more than fasting fasting is important it's more than prayer it's more than night vigils the price is death no matter what you do if you are still alive in yourself, there is still a long journey for you to go. Are we learning? Romans chapter 8 from verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, I may be describing someone here. You are going through a season that you've not been able to explain you pray and it looks like certain things are not happening in your life and yet you pray for others and they come with a testimony be patient there is something god is doing in your life there is a level of pride and self and flesh that is breaking away from you a time will come in your life it will no longer matter again it's not about me it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender to your That is the language of people who are dead and surrendered. Completely surrendered. That you love him with your all. Everything he has is given to you. And when it comes to you, it is still his own. If you keep your money in the bank, does the bank say it is their money? Please talk to me. It is with them, but you still say it is my money. And the day that bank calls your money their money, what do you do? Do you have to hate the bank? The moment the bank calls your money their money, you begin to suspect them. Will you add money there again? Yeah? 
Just plateau. People of the living God, there is so much that God wants to do with us. But it will take more than just dancing and singing and preaching. It will take even more than just fasting and praying as important as that is. It will take more than just prophesying and dropping prayers. It will take more than just conferences and conventions. The prize for all of him is all of you. The prize for all of him is all of you. The prize for all of him is all of you. The prize for all of him is all of you. Preacher, the prize for all of him is all of you. Politicians, the prize for all of him is all of you. Not your speaking, not your campaign, all of him. Businessmen, the prize for all of him is all of you. Academicians, the prize for all of him is all of you. When we get to a point where our all is surrendered to him, he will make a wonder out of your life. A wonder that will shock you first and then everybody around you. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. You want the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Genuine, authentic power as of old? It takes more than just carrying money to drop before a man of God to pray for you. There is a place for that. But believe me, there are wells that don't come by impartation. You must dig that well through death. It takes more than speaking intelligently to convict hearts that they born and come to Jesus. You can stretch your theological knowledge from border to border and wonder why it does not create any impact. Businessmen, when you do business as a dead vessel, a dead vessel meaning one whose entire life centers around revealing Jesus. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. If that child is only your child, it will give you headache till you wrinkle yourself to death. Remember, dear parent, that you are only a steward, not an owner. Let the owner take responsibility over the child and you will see the power of the owner. If that car is yours, you will maintain it. If that ministry is yours, you will maintain it. The prodigal son had access, but he wanted ownership. Lack started when ownership came. In this kingdom, we don't own anything. Owners are rebels. We are only given access. If God gives you an anointing, it is his anointing at work in you. You walk with that consciousness. He gives you resources. They are, it is his resources only at work through you. This is a very deep revelation that we must have. Tonight, we are going to trust God to lay down our pride. We are going to trust God to lay down every boasting. It is within my power. I know how to organize my life. Except the Lord builds a house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. The watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up early, dear Plato State, and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. My Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. He said, if the Lord has not been by our side, now may Israel say, if God does not lift you, you cannot be lifted. <laughs> A man can receive nothing except he is given. And if you do receive it, you must let your world know that you received it.
your attitude of humility and brokenness the speed with which you let Jesus to be revealed and glorified in that process you see let me tell you this when your life is committed to revealing Jesus and bringing him glory there is no end to what he can give you Pastor Nat got it so precisely take the stage Lord have your way listen carefully I'm not just singing I'm just a vessel this is not self-condemnation it is revelation and nothing more when you're done using me to be that kingdom millionaire using me to become that political whatever it is you now become using me to become that parent using me to become that great prophet apostle man of God I'm satisfied just to see you glorified make sure you are not telling lies I'm satisfied just to see you glorified I'm satisfied just to see you glorified in my life be glorified, be glorified. I just want to say, turn that song into a prayer while you are seated. For some of you, the Lord is speaking to you. Your pride is why the glory cannot be revealed in your life. Someone is praying, talk to Jesus. Is someone talking to Jesus from the depth of your heart? I have believed that ministry will rise. After all, I can prophesy. Who is like me? No, not so. After all, I am Apostle Joshua Selman. No. Someone is praying. This is part of the conference, oh, and this is part of the miracle service already. Pray. Let it be. Break that pride once and for all. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and found that Babu Wanika Maraka. Pray. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched. All the earth and found out Babu Wani Kamaraka. Hey, Babu Wani Kamaraka. Ya Yesu, Babu Wani Kamaraka. Babu Wani Kamaraka. Listen, some of you may have heard me say this. Let me tell you how this song came. I'm not a musician. I was in Cameroon for a meeting and I woke up in the middle of the night. I just sat in the living room and tears were coming down from my eyes as I was just looking at the faithfulness of God in my life. I was just meditating looking at where God took me from and I was just saying oh God only a fool will say in his heart that you cannot lift men and Jesus glorified businessman do your business with the intelligence God has given you but behind your results make sure that all that you get and all that you are are only a means to an end the end being Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified Politician, do your campaign as much as you can and may God grant you the grace while you do so. But remember that whatever you become and whatever you are, never forget that it is only a means. The end being Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. I have no business doing anything 
whether you call it ministry or whatever before I participate in anything I want to find out how it will reveal Jesus if it has no business bringing him glory you will not get my attention some of you by reason of this conference in the next two to three minutes is going to be a time of deep repentance and brokenness that you will take away your golden crown and cry before the God of heaven search my heart oh God I, I bring my heart like a trophy before you you know my tendencies you know my royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and Lord of lords you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords your glorious majesty the abode Sujada de Nakao, Sir King Salam, Sir King Aljan. Someone is praying. Take everything, oh God. I vow that as you use me and as you lift me, that Jesus will be seen through everything. Through everything. The tendencies that are locked up from within our hearts, the appetite to want fame, the appetite to want name, the appetite tame those appetites by your spirit someone is praying two more minutes let it be from the depth of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart Nadoka ka sunanka ubangi jika isaya we nagir mama sunanka ubangi ji ni nadoka ka sunanka ubangi jika isaya we nagir mama sunanka ubangi ji ah. We'll raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. In that okay. Listen.
please if you are yet to submit your prayer request i just want you to wave it high and an usher would come and pick it right now we have a few minutes and god will be doing a very quick walk it's a miracle service tonight and they glorified god in me man of god god desires that men will see his glory revealed in you businessman parent student leaders god desires the multifaceted dimensions of all that he is to perpetually find expression in and through your life can i tell you this listen carefully believe me you have not seen prosperity till you die die to yourself and to your ambitions god will take the prayer request of a man for decades and give you as a lover's gift you've not seen influence and increase until you die to yourself he will give you the keys to the hearts of kings and nations we have come tonight number one to see jesus exalted and glorified we have come tonight to see and experience a display of his power as a component of his glory we have come tonight to experience the wisdom of God. Can I tell you this? Now that you have gotten the message that in your death is your life. In your weakness is your strength. In your allowing Jesus to be revealed is your relevance. Now we can pray. We can pray that he comes upon us to heal the sick. We can pray that he comes upon us to cast out the devils that try to mock his might and his supremacy over lives and over destinies. We can pray that an engracing you did not come for this meeting with will rub off on you and you will go back as a sign and a, and a wonder. Are you ready to pray that prayer now? Everywhere all across this field and the overflows, I want you to pray a sincere prayer now that your heart is determined to see jesus glorified pray one prayer lord do not restrain your hand as far as lifting or blessing me is concerned go ahead and pray that sincere prayer and watch the wonder working power of he who was he who is and that which is to come please pray Let your healing power rest upon me. Let your power to restore rest upon me. I desire that my life and everything about me, I desire that it becomes a revelation, an epistle of the wonder-working power of Jesus. Someone is praying. No matter how far, even those outside of this place, pray from the depth of your heart. They will reach you wherever you are. Pray. Oh, 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 my lifting has come. Oh, 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 oh my lifting has come. Oh, oh, oh,
Hallelujah. Now please listen carefully. We're going to do a very, very quick walk here that the Lord is going to be doing tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please, I want you to help the ushers. There are so many people and there's only so much the ushers can do. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, whether or not you are an usher, please do well to help them so that they don't injure themselves. Especially if and when there will be a need to bring out a few people here. Now let me tell you why impartations happen and some of these supernatural manifestations. It's not just some Pentecostal gibberish and jamboree by indisciplined people. You have to understand that the language of God is power. When the power of God comes, it does not do the same thing to everyone. For others, he's bringing deliverance for them. For others, he's bringing healing. For others, he's restoring. Regardless the prayer request, it is still power that will answer it. According as his divine power had given us all things, all things reside within the power of God. If the power of God is released, many things happen at the same time. So don't just focus on the preacher and those shouting under the anointing. Much more than that. You must open up your heart to receive and then for those under the anointing, don't you think you are just falling and people are carrying you and bringing you out just for show? You must realize that something is happening within you and you must open your heart to receive it. Are you ready now? The first issue we are going to deal with tonight is the issue of delay. Please look up. Delay is a spirit. I taught you yesterday that the zenith of dominion is dominion over time. Whatever eats your time, has taken something significant from your life but within the economy of god the bible says god can not only restore things but he can restore years and i will restore time when you meet a dying man what he wants is time not things the greatest desire of man whether known or not is time because no matter what leaves you if there is time it can come back but no matter what you have, if there is no time, it is a waste. Every other thing finds its value when there is time. Let me tell you how to know the spirit of delays at work in your life. When and if the only thing growing in your life is your age. If the only thing growing in your life is your age, there is delay. Because according to the authority of scripture, the path of the just should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day it is true that the devil can bring delay but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph now i'm going to pray as i rebuke that spirit of delay and declare speed two things will happen you will find out that people will begin to run please i want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and bring them out those under the anointing i want to command that spirit because everything that is not a planting of God, it must give way tonight. Is someone ready to end delay? Not just for your life, but for all who are connected to you. Now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I stretch my hands by the message of the God of heaven. And I decree and declare the spirit of delay. I command it broken right now. I command it broken right now. Please begin to bring them out. I declare delay be broken. I release speed, speed to your destiny. The power of God comes upon you right now. Speed in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I decree and declare, speed, no more delay. Speed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Some of you as God is touching you, he's touching your family members. No power in existence has what it takes to stop you from moving forward. Help them please. Speed, I decree and declare upon the plateau in the name of Jesus. Let delay of all sorts be broken now. Let delay of all sorts by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let it be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let delay be broken.
I hear the chains falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Number two, now I want to pray. It's a prayer of restoration. And I see the anointing coming on several people. Hear me. What this grace will do is that everything that left you that should not have gone by this anointing, wherever it is, it returns back. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, everything you have lost, connections, relationships, spiritual virtues at the count of three may that fire and that grace that makes for restoration come upon you bring them out one two three help that woman please take that grace now in the name of Jesus they are taken for a prey and none say it restore we come with a voice of restoration let there be restoration in the name of Jesus everything you have lost let it return to you I prophesy as I was commanded and there was a sound bones came to his bone bones came to his bone business came to his business finances came to finances <laughs> Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud amen. Let there be restoration. Now hear me. Please look at me. There are families here. You've lost everything literally. Everything. Opportunities. You were not like this. But everything started crashing down. Finances went down. Relationships went down connections went down i stand by the power of the holy spirit and i declare by this anointing let that grace come upon you for restoration let that grace come upon you for restoration hear me when saul met prophet samuel the first miracle that happened to him was that everything the donkey that you are looking for has been found there are anointings that can cause everything that strayed from its place of assignment to return back again now I want to pray ah. I don't know how we're going to do it. Let me just pray for those in front first so they can return back. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare by this anointing, experience strange restorations by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you by the anointing that raised Christ from the dead. The grace of priesthood it comes upon you and it brings you restoration. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. This man, that man wearing suit you what do you do my friend where huh? in just your own ministry I want to pray for you you are a sincere man please don't be embarrassed I don't mean to embarrass you you are a sincere man but there is so there are so many things for you to learn and understand but in truth the call of God is upon your life and you have been praying and crying that God will anoint you. Please lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you. You will shift into dimensions of the teaching grace and the healing anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help him please. You will never be the same. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's shifting you to a new dimension. I impart that grace upon you. Access to the wisdom of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Madam, this woman wearing green. Mama, something is coming on you. I'm seeing like oil being poured on her head. 
in the name of Jesus is bringing you to a separation by the Spirit of God and God is going to be doing great and mighty things even in your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the Son of the Living God for all those in front here I declare you are blessed in Jesus name if you can please return to your seat I want to minister the power of the Holy Spirit now that's why I want them to clear the way now please hear me I believe that everyone who names the name of Christ should be free from any and all kinds of demonic influences look at me the spirits wicked spirits are behind the tragedies and the ills that are in the lives of men and families believe it or not he said I desire to come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us he's hindered families I want to pray some of you will marvel and wonder can I tell you most of the things you wrote here as a prayer request demon spirits walk like an octopus they will touch several aspects of your life and confuse you but it's one and the same spirit but when that spirit by the authority of the name of Jesus is taken out of the way I have seen what the power of God can do over demons and I can have seen the testimonies that come when people are genuinely set free I am come he said that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly it is a thief that cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy now I want to pray there are spirits that have sat upon the destinies of men some of you mysterious occurrences around your life that will not let you go forward I want to pray I want to that's why I said clear the way because they are going to bring some other people here at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus it is a name that is above every other name exalted as Lord and Christ and as you shout that name every planting that is not of God must give way it's time for your liberty it says to open up the prisons to those that are bound to set the captives free father I decree and declare that in the name of he that died and rose again exalted as Lord and Christ every spirit that is not of the Christ standing the way of your people as they shout the healer let it be like the crumbling of the walls of Jericho are you ready now at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus I command those devils go now I command those spirits release their destinies now bring them out by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I break every yoke I command every activity of witchcraft and diabolism it leaves you now releasing your destiny I declare that release I command Satan let God's people go free in the name of Jesus blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross and if the Son sets you free you are free indeed I declare your liberty I declare your liberty from affliction your liberty from every demonic activity bring them out hallelujah now please hear me the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity I want to pray for you the fire of God is coming and bringing you great deliverance I'm seeing the number 21 21 people I'm seeing that this fire is coming upon them right now I decree and declare wherever you are by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command I command those chains be broken right now chains be broken be broken help them please be broken in the name of Jesus Christ chains be broken
in the name of Jesus Christ chains be broken bring them out Setting up the same, your name is to be adored. The rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name, your name is to be adored. By the name Stephanie. I'm hearing a name Stephanie. Is there someone with that name? Stephanie. The Lord wants to visit you right now. The Stephanie I'm seeing is wearing red, complete red. Is there someone like that? Stephanie. Please don't come out carelessly. Make sure that you fall into this category. Stephanie, I want to pray for you. What he says it one he says to all I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that every planting that is not of God by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare it comes to an end now agree with them and shout amen in the name of Jesus Wow I just saw light across the minister stand i shouldn't say this but i just saw light i i saw the anointing coming on two people right now just on the, the minister's seat just light and the lord is saying a season is coming to an end and another season is opening i don't know who that is for but in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power of the holy spirit let it be so in the name of jesus christ even one of the ministers is receiving a grace for prayer the spirit of prayer and supplication that grace help them please my god please help them in the name of jesus that grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i don't know if there is a woman here they call you mama grace is there someone like that i just heard that i don't know if it's your daughter that is grace but it's like they call you mama grace of grace that's in house of the mother of grace Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for you. We're going to be praying for the sick shortly. But I just heard that, and then I'll pray for you. Who is Joel? Joel. I'm hearing a name, Joel. Is there someone with such a name? Please don't tell lies. Make sure Jesus is here. Joel. Joel. Mama, who did they call Mama Grace? You, Mama? Can I pray for you? Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord himself by his spirit is doing a new thing. I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm seeing someone you've been experiencing signs of arthritis. We're going to pray for the sick right now. Signs of arthritis. But right now, that pain is living in the name of Jesus Christ. That pain is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama Grace, I'm still hearing that name again. I presume that there might be a number of women, but we'll just stand by faith and pray for the ones we have here. In the name of Jesus Christ. This right here, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing there. Pick the person and bring the person. Just write down the anointing. I just saw like fire. There might be shouts elsewhere, but right here. Mighty God. I will 
worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship you forever love you forever because this god is too good i know a god who is merciful and kind faithful and gracious on the apple of his eyes the thoughts that fills his heart every morning no night he loved me when i didn't care and was patient till i came Running Run back, back into his arms. Oh, oh, this will be your testimony. Look how he's turned my, my life around. Baby, shine like a shining light. His, his glory, glory to reveal. I will worship. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. of Jesus I decree and declare the power of God will come on one of you here the moment that happens the Lord is bringing healing and deliverance just one of you who is in front here very quickly I already begin to sense the healing anointing I just saw an anointing coming on one of you who is in front here in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare let that be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My attention is distracted there. Please, um, I want you to help the person who the power of God comes upon right now. I just saw oil being poured just straight down this road. Majesty. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare for all of you who are out here, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Twelve years, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Twelve years. I'm seeing the number twelve. Twelve years. Please don't just come out anyhow. Just let's just 12 years. Ah, salvation has come to you. Who is that person? 12 years. 12 years. Let's celebrate Jesus. He is coming to an end. I know you are here. Here in your mind. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know, I know you are, are here, here in your glory. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, here in your glory. I know, I know you are here, sweet Holy Spirit, I know, I know you, you are here. here, you are here to take us higher, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Now, hold on, please. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat, listen, there are many of you who are called into prophetic worship. Now hear me, help them please. He's going to blow the trumpet. And hear me, as he blasts that trumpet, 
from the depth of the spirit, a mantle and a grace is going to rest upon you. Please hear me. Doing music is not just about singing. It's a spiritual affair. Some of you will draw songs from the realm of the spirit. Some of you will hear melodies in the night. Some of you who are instrumentalists will lay your hands from tonight. And it will be a different sound. Are you ready? There will be a mighty baptism. It doesn't matter what auditorium. My God. A sound is coming. By the spirit of grace. And upon this sound. There will be an awakening. A prophetic awakening. From within your spirit. Yes sir. Oh, spring up her wells. We call for prophetic fountains. Mistrials of glory. Prophetic psalmistry. We decree and declare. Let that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Songs of deliverance. Songs in the night. Songs of worship. We find the altar of worship. Afresh again, afresh again, let fire fall upon your ministry. Pastor Sam, the Lord is just telling me to tell you truly that he's bringing you into a new season in ministry that your influence will start rising beyond Gombe State. This is what God is saying. God will begin to draw people to come and drink from you that are beyond that state and that grace by the spirit of grace. May that grace rest upon you and it will start as the ministry of prayer and then it will move to the prophetic prayer and the prophetic in the name of jesus may god make that happen for you by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare let those wells be opened by the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah now hear me hear me i'm seeing the grace of the intercessor and i'm seeing the number 40 many of them women there is a prophetic grace for prayer and intercession at the count of three that mantle is coming on people right now prayer groups intercessory groups will arise by the spirit one my god two three take that fire now Latu, let the grace for intercession fall upon you Women of prayer, women of power, women that wail until prophecy is breathed over the state, over families. We decree by the decree of the watchman. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the decree of the watchman, let it be so. We establish it as an ordinance in the realm of the spirit that the incense of prayer will arise from the plateau even to the heaven. Now, I want to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing ministry. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Angels 
saying he's opening you up to a new season in the name of Jesus may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ holy 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 are you Lord the angels the redeemed worship you now trusting God for a healing miracle I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal you can bring the requests up while we do that so we hurry up right now please lay your hands wherever if it's your head lay your hands there as a point of contact I tell you there's there's such mighty anointing to heal right now something is happening all of the overflows 
everywhere the power of God to heal you are the Lamb you are the Lamb hallelujah now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact and for all of you who are following you're watching from your homes you're watching from wherever whatever tv station there is your chance to experience the power of jesus from america to europe to asia here in africa all of the states connected and following here is your chance to experience the miracle working power of jesus i want you to believe as i pray listen miracles are not superstitions they are direct products of the power of god in the life of a believing Christian that you believe he's able to heal you then he comes to heal agree with me as I pray now hear me our time is up and I don't intend to keep us unnecessarily long but we have to do this very quickly I'm just going to be praying for one or two minutes the moment I pray for you, a miracle, already miracles are already happening everywhere. Inside here, outside, for those of you who came, you came and probably miracles were already happening to you. Now, as I pray for you, I want you to believe and receive by faith. Remember I taught you the law of faith? When I pray for you, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, may I please request... For sake of time that you use either this place in front by my left or that place by my right the moment the power of God touches you and you find out that you could do something a relief the growth is gone the pain is gone you couldn't walk now you can walk you were blind now you can see I will request when I ask you to to run out and stand here and we'll take a few of the testimonies before we pray finally over the request and then we're done for the night make sure you do not sit back as his power touches you perhaps you may have received a miracle yesterday and you didn't have the time to prophesy when those who are coming out are coming out you can join them very quickly when i say in jesus name please shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here upon this ground and here upon the plateau we decree and declare in the name of he who died and was raised by the glory of the father seated and exalted even jesus i decree and declare that your hold over god's people is broken now in the name of jesus now i decree and declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now i release miracles in the name of jesus i command blind eyes to be opened now whether partial blindness complete blindness be healed now deafness be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition I rebuke that condition in the name of Jesus. Lumps. The Lord is showing me lumps of all kinds. I declare that those lumps disappear now. Hepatitis. Be healed now. HIV. Be healed now. Cancer. Be healed now. Fibroids. Be healed now cardiovascular conditions be healed now bone conditions you came here on crutches you came here using an aid be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I'm seeing you can't see very well in fact it's, it's almost as if one eye is completely blind but right now as I'm praying you're from a distance the power of God will come upon you and you will see that you can see clearly right now in the name of jesus bone conditions be healed right now 
I'm seeing a young lady who came here. You are SS. In the name of Jesus Christ, we change that genotype now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, peptic ulcer, be healed right now. Lower abdominal pain, be healed right now. Pain around your vertebra, be healed in the name of Jesus. Severe waist pain, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is healing you. There's someone you have just healed around your body. In Jesus' name, be healed now. Now, there's someone you have a condition. It looks like mums. You know what mums are? Where there's one a swelling at the side of your cheek. But it's been there for a while. You would notice that the contour of your face, one side looks swollen than the other. You've seen this. You've prayed. You've done your best, but it's not gone. Right now, I command that that condition is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, you're a young man, but you get tired very easily. Almost like a very old person. You can't stand for long. I declare be healed right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, here at this conference, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, very quickly, I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do. The moment you find out that there is a miracle, boldly make your way to the front right now. Let's celebrate them as you come. Check yourself. Check yourself in any of the overflows. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, you've been healed, relieved of any pain, migraine headaches going make your way to the front are you celebrating miracles people are coming out very quickly make your way boldly to the front look at miracles are happening my goodness are you seeing what is happening here what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you Please, can we have one or two pastors? Just help me. Stick to the darkness we shine. Out of the ashes we rise. Keep coming. My goodness. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Plateau the beautiful, is this how you celebrate the hand of God? We want to shame the devil upon the plateau soil in the name of Jesus to reveal by these miracles that Jesus is doing a new thing upon the plateau. If you're in agreement, shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. The lump. Okay. On her side and the breast is gone. Lump. Something is happening somewhere. What is happening there? Looks like there's a miracle happening there. What is that? I can't see it. There's a miracle happening there. Ah. Oh, a wheelchair. Give Jesus a big shout. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. 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 You have won it all for me. That could not hold you. another wheelchair there another miracle you have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about to stop doing hey! you 
Yes, let's take a few of the miracles. Are you ready? Let's have another pastor there. Someone attend to them there. Do we have anyone? Please, any of the ministers. Okay, if you're ready, let's, let's just save time very quickly. Miracles are happening here. I'm seeing in my vision, I'm seeing someone, you're using a crutch. It's not a, it's not a wheelchair. It's like a, a, a stick or something. I don't know. This is the vision I'm seeing. I don't know who, whether the person is here or in any of the overflows. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk. You are good. You are kind. Lift it up and you walk. You are more than peace. Lost for words. words. Trying to describe you. Elohim. Lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot lose. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a drop record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. Hey! Hallelujah. Sir, what happened to you? What's that now? Oh, the overflow. Something is happening in the overflow. Where is that now? Which of I don't know which of the overflow. Let's celebrate though. Something is happening there. Now we don't know what is happening, but we know something is happening. Hallelujah. Let's have goodness. We have to work with time. Sadly, we can't take all of this. Okay, let's let's take two or three and then we'll have to pray on the request. Very quickly, please. Anyone ready? Very quickly. Okay, Praise so the Lord. From 2011, I've been having severe pain on my left leg. Yes. At times, it would just freeze. And when I came here, I even was dancing. Please, don't, don't put anyone jump. under pressure. I am no, jumping no, now. No. The pain is gone. Completely. Jump. Completely jump. Gone. Jump. Jump. Any pain. Completely. Please, don't, don't put anyone under pressure. Please, please. Don't do that at all. Don't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. If it happens for them, there are people who might not receive all of the miracles here, but that the seed has been sown. Please let them be. We're not faking it here at all. Another miracle has happened there. Only God knows. It looks like the overflow is receiving more than us here. Their faith seems to have. Praise the Lord. Before I came here, I had serious abdominal pain, but I cannot feel it again. Praise completely gone it never returns in jesus name. hallelujah yes please very quickly amen arthritis is left this very moment arthritis yes i can't who is speaking hallelujah okay what happened arthritis left confirmed oh, medically yes sir how long yes, sir over 12 years now. your legs yes sir. which of them the left leg move it let the devil see you let the devil see you run Run, run, overflow, overflow ah. one, overflow one, Amen. from over the overflow, Praise from the overflow, me. from the overflow, yes, I am healed, I am healed, <laughs> from sickle cell anemia, I am healed, she's walking with a walking stick, and she has been healed of sickle cell anemia. Is, oh dear, I wish I could. Which of, you, please, when you talk, um, the pastors in charge, let us know which overflow you are speaking from. The we car park. Not, the car park. Where is the car park? Overflow three. 
So what happened there? Let's know. Sikusa anemia. She's been healed. What couldn't she do before? She was walking with her head, a, a walking stick, but now she could walk. Ask her to walk head without head. it now. My goodness. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've undergone surgery in my eyes three times. Three times? Yes. Surgery? Yes. What for? One eye. What did they tell you was wrong? First was cataract, second was change of lens. The third, they, were, they had to change the lens again. And what happened now? Friend, I can't see with the eyes even after the third surgery. You couldn't see? Yes. And right now? What couldn't you see before? You can't view anything entirely. I can't even see you, you couldn't see me from there. Oh, yes, sir. One. Hey. Two. Three. Five. Ten. Give Jesus praise. See, yes, this please. one, this brother Nash is the one that easily get tired on the lake and the Lord healed him. How long, my friend? For how long? It has been long. It has been long. And right now, yes, sir. completely, yes, sir. we rebuke that tiredness in the name of Jesus. For sake of time, let's just have one, 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 one each so that we can, otherwise we're going to stay all through the night. Yes, please, one there. Anyone who is ready, go ahead. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Several How? years gone. Several years gone. I had terrible pain at my back before I came and that pain that is gone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Gone forever in the name of Jesus. Severe chest pain and knee pain completely gone. Gone forever. Amen. Now for all of you who have come, before I pray for this, Pastor Nat is going to lead us through two minutes of high praise. Jump every devil out of your life. Are we together? Listen, I want you to prepare. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Because it is in praise that his power is made manifest. Now for all of you who have been healed, I declare it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout! Hey, I stand amazed in your presence. Hey, I stand amazed. I stand amazed in your presence. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hold on, please. This is from the overflow. Who is that? The young lady. Let me see. How were you walking before? How were you walking, darling? You couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. Lift it now. Walk. Walk. Move. Oh, my God. Oh, she walked from the overflow. Are you giving Jesus a big, 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 big praise? Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Hey, come on, Jesus. Hey, the one that we have today. What can you do, Jesus? Creator, Creator, Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? 
Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. The Bible is very clear as to the fact in the name of Jesus for all of you who are healed. Let there be your testimonies remain forever. Particularly I'm seeing this man standing in the name of Jesus. Your miracle is established. How long has this been? Six months. For six months? Eight months. Eight months. What happened to you? Arthritis. I could not stand. You couldn't stand? I couldn't stand at all. Without the help of my clothes, I could not stand. Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For He is God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah One more time Now unto the Lamb upon the throne the nations, all of the nations of the earth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stretch your hands by faith right here, everyone. Stretch your hands by faith and begin to pray. I am agreeing under the corporate anointing. This is not just Joshua Selman, Pastor Nathaniel. Reverend Akila, all the men and women of God upon the plateau here represented. We stand as a united church praying over this. Is someone stretching your hands that these Egyptians I see today, that I see them no more forever. Are we in agreement? I'm going to bow my knees and I'm going to pray. Now let me tell you this and, and this is true. Um, Many of you know that I love Pastor Nath with all my heart. He's a very great, great vessel of God. There is a mystery about him and this trumpet. You see, the shout of a king, when in the midst of a people, produces wonders. I'm going to bow my knees and lay my hands, and I'm just going to ask him as inspired by the Spirit. He's blowing over by the spirit do you know what that means that the sound is blowing away shame blowing away pain listen to me it is by the sound of the trumpet that there is a separation between those who live and those who stay that means the sound of a trumpet can separate what should go and what should stay the sound of a trumpet separates a condition it is not just for rapture. It is not just the sound of the archangel. The trumpet is a mystery that as the shofar is blown with understanding, it can bring a separation between what must stay and what must leave. Are you ready by faith? Stretch your hands here. You don't have to kneel. I'll do the kneeling for you. And Pastor Nat will just blow prophetically. I'd like you to believe because many of you, you will go back home and you will watch testimonies lined up like visitors waiting for you. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray.
amen in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the decree of the watchers and by the message of the God of heaven these Egyptians that you see today you will see no more forever you will see no more forever you will see no more forever by this request help help that lady please so she doesn't injure herself every spirit behind the tragedies here represented in the name of jesus we banish you forever we banish your influence forever in the mighty name of jesus every door that has been shut over your life and destiny i speak to that door a father be open heater and teeter in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare by the mystery of the ark in the house of obed edom 90 days from tonight three months believe me in the name of jesus the son of the living god within three months from tonight let there be strange visitations strange testimonies marvelous workings of the power of god so shall it be in the name of jesus christ hallelujah just let me two minutes and we're done if you can hold the hands of anybody please in one minute let's pray for the church on the plateau father we decree and declare that in the name of jesus the church upon the plateau regardless denomination regardless differences in doctrine for the business people across the plateau in the name of jesus for everyone involved in business to whatever decree by the power of the holy spirit you will not go down again that when men say there is a casting down we stand by the spirit of grace and we declare for you let it be that there is a lifting up number three we pray for plateau the man god has elected and selected by his spirit alongside every other person from governor to senate members to house members federal house of reps state house we decree and declare may the angel of his presence go before us and grant peace upon this state in the name of jesus christ the spirit of poverty and failure and everything that brings reproach to the name of christ over the lives of the saints we banish it from this territory in the name of jesus i pray for your prayer altar i pray for your word study life these are the components that make for your maturity in the name of jesus find grace to pray in the name of jesus find grace to study in the name of jesus i multiply your passion for the house of god i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of god let it be so in the name of Jesus that all the ministers and servants of God in this nation and in this state particularly, they will stand as one with one voice putting behind whatever petty differences and stand as one coordinated team lifting up the name of Jesus. May that be so for this state in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, we pray for house on the rock upon the plateau you are indeed a house that is upon a rock we pray for all the workers we pray for all who are part of this vision and all who support this vision in the name of Jesus let it be for you from glory to glory let it be for you from grace to grace 
let it be for you from power to power and for everyone who has come to celebrate with the man of God his wife and this vision I decree and declare shame and reproach will be far from your life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I want to thank you sincerely for every time I have the privilege of coming to this state through whatever platform especially the house on the rock platform i am truly grateful and honored it is my joy to minister to you because i love jesus but it is also my joy because i'm ministering to my own people reverend thank you so much i do not take for granted ma thank you may the lord bless you the lord increase you in jesus name let's give jesus a big hand clap dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development Lord grant me the discipline 